Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a Esther Michelson showcase in TVL2. So after around six or seven months of waiting, we finally got Esther. Randomly dropped at a random time. Kind of like what they did for Bonnie. Um, well, no, mm, kind of. So they released the official TVL2 Esther showcase um, six hours before she came out. I think it was five. She said, Esther Showcase came out in like at like twelve ish, and then Esther came out at five p.m. So same day, which is kind of odd because they've never really done that before. Anyway, so along with Esther, we got a big Blood Moon like aesthetic changes and like that type of thing. So of course I'll be doing a full map review sometime, maybe later. Probably not today. But yeah. Alright, so this is Esther's first outfit. So I'm not going to show all of them because y'all can go in game and do that. Anyway. Yeah, so she has a, like, hmm. She has three legendary outfits and one epic. So around five outfits. Yeah, so this is her first one, the default one. First move we got here is Anima Markham Krista Voko, which I need a werewolf to perform oh. why'd you both reset listen i was going to then zai decided to be um icky icky what it basically does is it um makes sure that the target does not have any werewolf ability so tyler can it'll basically take away all Tyler's like werewolf stuff, so his bite will not be a werewolf anymore, and like he can't turn. And this will be revoked, like, Tyler can undo it by basically killing anyone, just like in the show, like, werewolves unlock their powers when they kill someone or whatever. So, yeah, this is what it looks like. does a lot of damage and then they go on the floor and then they wake up not this not the they wake <laughs> up and they can't use any of their vampire abilities unless they kill um, someone so yeah yes they can use vampire abilities just not werewolf abilities yeah not werewolf abilities I said I said werewolf abilities Okay, be somewhere else. That's not. Nice. Next, we got Door Sanguine. Sanguinous. It's advanced pain infliction. And the and the little details, the nosebleeds. Yeah, and it kind of looks like Silas is not gonna lie. Talking about Silas, I just became Silas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do. Let's do, you know, we'll do, we'll do all, like, the important spells, like, later. We'll save them for last. Next, we got Immobilizing Chains. I don't know why it's not actually called something, but it basically immobilizes someone. And it's basically Ketsia's. It's just with a way shorter range. It looks like this. How foolish of you to risk your lives in defense of those who would kill you. But if that is your choice. Anyway. Next we got Incendia Dupecle Dupec Dispool Incendius de Ecpool you know fuck it, I'm not saying it. I'm low on health somebody. Alright, so basically he makes a sigil and then anybody that walks into it will be frozen to stone and they will take damage. If they are a vampire it will also drain their blood and it can desiccate like really fast like so it looks like this it's a reminder from the old tvl one but instead of it insta killing someone when it when they walk in it slowly kills them so walk in silas it does that turns them to stone and holds them there until the pentagram ends and it since Silas has blood energy or whatever, it'll decrease his health and blood. 
So you can basically desiccate someone with it. What you say? It doesn't last for long, so he got removed. Next we got Meter Lunar Traverse. You know, fuck these names are so so hard to you know fuck it. It's the um, it's the werewolf like binding ring thing. So it's a werewolf ring. So it creates a werewolf ring for the person, which like they're a basic werewolf. <laughs> Instead of turning on the full moon, they can turn whatever they want. So it's the lunar ring. It looks like this. So I gave it to Hope. Hope, mo uh, can I see the ring? Yeah. Can you put it on? Go to inventory and then accessories. And it's on. Out. Yeah, so it looks like that. It's kind of hard because Hope's idol is the crossing hands, but yeah. Or I'm trying to like... Someone on mobile, uh, mobile list me. I don't have a mobile list equipped. <laughs> Hold up. So I'm walking and then you can look at it. Yeah, so it looks like that. One of the Next we got Motus Kapora. So unlike the the old TVL when you could do Motus Kapora on Esther and fly around, this basically does is you is you click the person. It doesn't do any damage while you're holding them, and you just hold them there for as long as you want. And then you can tap F a couple times, and depending on how fast you click F will be how far they go and how much damage. So if I click it real fast, it, do, it throws them this far and it does a lot of damage. As you can see, half health basically. Is that anyway so it will reverse it does i don't think it works in stylus it might though i haven't tested it but it basically takes the vampire out of them so since esther is the one that created the vampire line and it works on originals and regular vampires i think it works on heretics as well it just doesn't work on tribrid it doesn't work on tribrid is that it doesn't work on Tribrid. It only works on originals and regular vampires and heretics. <laughs> you know? Just, yeah. So, let me get the target to half health. Anyways. I think it's gonna desiccate you before it ends. I think it is. Hold on, 111, 113, 95, 87, 78. There we go. Oh, hold on. Ah! Ah! This is what it looks like. Yeah, and the 40 second, like 35 second cooldown is so good. Like, you can literally, like, go around and be Esther the Vampire Hunter and literally kill, like, all the vampires. Or just turn them into mortals. So, Michael is now immortal. If I, like, if Cloud, yeah. like, you know, it's so cruel. Is if if I did it to Klaus, and then I did the the stone like the the vampire stone on him, it turns him into a regular mortal. <laughs> so I can literally like 
be so gr- I like Rebecca and Cole and everything like it just turns him into a witch but still it's basically the cure but it doesn't work on Charbrook or Silas oh why did I press the other side whoopsies why would you do I can't res I can just reset all right now getting into her neck like she has so many spells it's fucking ridiculous i can't even put them on all one wheel so next spell we got is starling quake it's basically a like a mass birds around you and it damages and look you know it looks like this you can't move while you're doing that but it looks like this And you can stop it if you want. Yeah, and Bonnie's not moving. That's just the animation when they're stuck in it. So when they're stuck in it, it does that. Next we got Starling Swarm. It's basically the same thing, but instead of it being mass, it's only like one person. So this is what it looks like. And it doesn't make them move around. It just does that and they can move around. Oh, excuse me. Next we got Starling Transformation, which is probably, other than like, her ultimates, quote unquote, because I think of them, you know. Yeah, and, and she can fight them off, you just, oh, DJ, that's me. Anyway, this is Starling Transformation. So, you can transform into a bird and fly around the map. Where'd you go? Pretty cool. Stop fighting! And you can transform back. Stop, stop fighting. To this. Alright, and then I need a. You know, I'll just. Okay. So I need one person to be a doppelganger to stay here. So. So she has three moves. Was it three? It's one. Wait, no, where is it? Oh no, let's do Ocu. So this spell, Osculum Tenembris. This basically steals all the magic from people around you and gives you the magic. And it's basically okay, oh say quite but they say, but instead of it being two minutes, it's 30 seconds. So for 30, so it drains all their magic and it makes them so they can't regen any magic. So they can't use any magic for 30 seconds and it gives you all their magic. So it ups your magic bar from 1700 to 2000 and fully restores your magic. But it basically takes away everyone else's magic to give yourself temporary magic and to uh, drain them for 30 seconds. So it looks like this. Yeah, so all of her power has, so the, these two don't have magic anymore at all for 30 seconds. But it does, this cool, key, pff, this keybind has a 300 second cooldown, so five minutes. Which doesn't make any sense, because all the other ultimates have a short cooldown, but we don't talk about that. Anyway, so now I'm going to transform into a bird, because there's two abilities. I, is it two? Yeah. Two of these abilities require ancestral magic. So let's fly, fly over to the beach house. We get that. So, it's, it's where you get Emily, so... So like, you know, Bonnie, Bonnie has Emily to get her vampire killing spell. So you go to the old witch house and Salvatore school, it's by the Salvatore tomb. You go here uh, to summon spirits, you hold the mouse. And then you summon Emily Bennett. Talk to her. And she, what she does is she gives you a white oak steak. And it looks like this. Esther's buttock steak is steak fashioned from the buttock uh -huh. steak we used to create the instructable steak. So now I could use this on someone, but you want to turn it into the indestructible. So let's go back over to my friends. <gasps> Guys, stop fighting. I can hear oh. through Kimberly's uh, mic. He killed me first. I'm getting my look back. Okay, just, just, just wait, okay? Just wait. One second. Right, Guys. Yes. Stop. 
Why am I hitting myself? Where are you? In the shop, by the way. So, here is, so, I could use this one. So instead I'm going to yeah. turn it into indestructible. So it's Angaris, Dolores, Tombrito. Where? Yeah, I can use that in nowhere. I love the fact that Esther so can, now I have to say, I can drop it if I want to give it to someone. Um, but yeah, and it's it's a white it's a white oak steak, but it's just indestructible. So yeah. Bonnie, can you drop it, or can I only drop it? Oh, only I can drop it. Okay. All right, that's her. Now her last ultimate, which I'm gonna need a doppelganger for. It's the OG serum, y'all. But there's another spell that comes with it. So first, you must do the Vita Essentia Extractum to steal the Doppelganger Bud. You can do this to any character in the game, but it, will, it won't give you the vial. It will only give you the vial of blood if they are a Doppelganger. So, Lena, get over here. Where are you? Uh, I see you. So this is what it looks like. This will kill me though. Yeah, since okay. since you're immortal, it's gonna severely damage you. Oh, yeah, it okay. kills me. Oh, I'm getting resurrected. This is what. I, so now I have Elena's blood, and now I can do this. So this is the OG serum. Give it here. So I c I can drink it myself, or I can give it to someone. So let me give it to Elena. I can't force her to drink it. I can just give it to her, and then you drink it. So now no, no, no. it's an original. Anyway, so compared to TVL one, in my opinion, I'm not saying because she's new. I'm saying it to be brutally honest. TVL2 kind of uh -oh. beat her up. TVL1 did not do Esther justice at all. They didn't. They didn't. She literally had Incendia Dupus, uh, like, the Dupaka, and she didn't- She f ha had okay sick with her say. She had nothing. She had nothing in TVL1. So I'm so glad that they actually brought her some justice. So, in my opinion, just, I don't know if she's just new, or the fact that, like, she literally is amazing. Like, I was, before this video was even recorded, we were literally fighting in, for an, for an hour or so, and I, I you know. And Zai got ate up all the time, but. Yeah, so she's probably mm -hmm. gonna be my main for a while. She's really good. I'm thirsty. So, yeah, so Esther TVL2 did her justice. This is the power she needed. Anyway, thank y'all for watching. Have a good day. Um, if you had her in TVL1, it transfers to TVL2. That's because I didn't have to buy her. I had her in TVL1. Anyway, thank y'all for watching. Goodbye.